Welcome to the last part of the top 10, or top 30, 30 sorry, Marvel superheroes who have been in a movie or have been, like, on a TV slash Netflix show. And this is the final part, unless I need to have it, like, 5 and 5, because there's quite a few things I gotta say about these ones. So, see you guys then. At number 10. Bucky Barnes, or the Winter Soldier. Bucky Barnes uh, is an old war buddy of Captain America. He, uh, he first appeared in Captain America, the Winter Soldier, as the brainwashed villain fighting Cap until he revealed his face to where Captain America was shocked to see that the man trying to kill him was his best friend. Eventually, he became a good guy and then uh, in Captain America Civil War, they uh, Iron Man finds out that he killed uh, his mother and then that's why the war began, uh, leading the two teams to fight it out. Let's go to number nine. Number nine, the Ant-Man. Played by Paul Rudd, Ant-Man quickly became a fan favorite. After the Ant-Man movie in 2015, fans were not disappointed and following his own film, Ant-Man joined Team Captain America in Civil War, to which the fans were not disappointed. Once again, Scott Lang, everyone is looking forward to him playing Ant-Man in the future. Let's get to number Sorry, let's get to number 8. Number 8. Star-Lord. Played by Chris Pratt. Star-Lord or Peter Quill is the main star in Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, at least until Baby Groot showed up. Let's get to number seven. Number seven, the Hulk. Hulk's solo movie may not have been the best, but it really was not too bad. However, Hulk really became a fan favorite when they got a new actor to play Hulk in the Avengers. Of course, that actor was Mark Ruffalo, and when he s started playing Banner, fans were delighted, and he still is just as good now. Hulk remains to be one of the most popular of the Avengers, and he'll probably still be that for films to come in the future. As he has showed up in Ragnarok. And he'll, he will also be in Infinity War. But we hope he doesn't die. Let's go to number 6. Thor. The brother of Loki and the God of Thunder. Is all we... Thor is all we could have asked for. Lightning, a hammer, only you can lift. However, now that hammer is dead, Thor really has it all in the MCU. We see, we hope to see Thor in many movies. However, he might die in Civil or er, Infinity War. So yeah, number five, Captain America. Played by Chris Evans, who also played Human Torches and is the only 
actor on this list twice. Uh, Steve Rogers or Captain America fans were amazed at how well Cap turned out as the leader of the Avengers. Fans quickly became huge fans of the Captain. Sadly, he is most likely to die in Infinity War to be replaced by Bucky Barnes. And that is why Captain America rules in at number five. Let's go to number four. Number four, Iron Man. Iron Man rolls in at number four. Played by Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark really kicked off the MCU. As Iron Man, believing he is the real leader of the Avengers and the man who is who introduced Spidey to the MCU, Stark became one of the most popular superheroes in the world, and it looks like that won't be stopping anytime soon, as he continues to make incredible movies with Marvel. We hope that he makes more movies to come, but he is also another guy who might die in Infinity War. However, many of us are hoping that is not going to happen. And that is why Iron Man rules in at number four. Number three, Spider-Man. Played by Tom Holland, fans were pumped to see the spider in the MCU. After five failed movies outside of the MCU, it was time Spidey showed up. This time actually played by a teenager, Spider-Man arrived on Team Iron Man or on Team Stark, sorry, in Civil War as a funny, lovable character. Peter Parker soon became a huge fan favorite, and many fans are looking forward to seeing what he has to come in the future. As we have heard that Spider-Man will have another solo film. And hopefully he doesn't die in Civil War. Or in Infinity War. And now let's get to number two. Number two. Logan or Wolverine. Played by Hugh Jackman. Jackman played the Wolverine. And... Well, Jackman is the more pop, the most popular, and main star of the X Men for 17 years. Uh, Jackman has been playing Wolverine, starring in all these uh, movies. The Wolverine, these movies consist of X Men in 2000, X2 in 2003, X Men: The Official Game. X-Men The Last Stand in 2006, X-Men Origins Wolverine in 2009, X-Men Origins Wolverine the video game, uh, X-Men First Class in 2011, The Wolverine in 2013, X-Men Days of Future Past in 2014, X-Men Apocalypse in 2016 and last Logan in 2017 as the violent hero dies and hangs his boots up and cementing his legacy to all X-Men fans. Many people hope that one day they can somehow get Logan or Wolverine into an Avengers film but that is probably unlikely to happen. But if it ever happens, it would be sweet. And that is why number two has to go to 
the Wolverine, aka Logan. Let's go to number one. Number one goes to Deadpool. Played by Ryan Reynolds, who has been fighting to get a Deadpool movie forever now. He got what he wanted when a clip was leaked online and it blew up and fans were excited, leading to Reynolds getting the role to get a Deadpool film. And when the film came out, rolled when the film rolled around, fans were not dis leaving disappointed, as Wade Wilson transformed into Deadpool, and arriving very in a in a very gory and violent, as Deadpool mocks everyone who, with his smart ass attitude. Fans of the Merc with the Mouth can't wait for Deadpool 2 to come to come out, and neither can I. That is some of the reasons why Deadpool has been put on this list as being one of the most violent superheroes or anti-heroes, whatever you want to call them, of all time. We can't wait to see what happens with Deadpool. And it would be awesome if he managed, if Marvel managed to get him into an Avengers, but that's probably an unlikely thing to happen as well. But it would still be real sweet to see him in one. And that is why, at number one, we have the Merc with the Melt, Deadpool. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe for more, and... If you haven't seen the other two, check them out because they were just as good. Part one, part two. Well, maybe not just as good. This one's pretty lit. And for another video that is going to be coming soon, top ten superheroes that have been in a film or a TV show in the DC universe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.